Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to try a new uh, challenge on GeoGuessr, which I can see here at the very top, the GeoGuessr country streak. How many countries can you get right? Play now. Now, those of you who have watched my videos for a while may remember I actually tried this one and I had to look it up a few weeks ago now. The video came out on July 31st where I self-imposed this challenge to guess uh, how many guests the country I was in uh, myself. I see GeoGuess has created this. I'm not sure if this is something that's new or not, but I figured, well, why don't we use the use this ourselves? And of course, here now it tallies your best streak, so that's fantastic. I think when I played it, I didn't care so much if I got them all in a row, whereas this here is specifically how many countries in a row can you get right, so that matters. Uh, I'm going to use uh, the default settings here, but I need to keep a move on, so I'll try and make a guess relatively quickly. My goal at the moment is get to get a streak of two, i.e. to get one correct and then the next one correct, and I think if I can do that, uh, I'll, be, I'll be happy. Start the game. Okay, so we can Have a quick cursory look around here. It seems that we're behind some great big facility. This could be, hmm, not sure, Africa maybe? The sun looks like it's in the north so, to some extent, um, but not immediately clear. Let's go to this road and see what we can do. Okay, well that's in, in Spanish or Portuguese, so perhaps we're in South America instead. Um, of course, we only need to get the country right here, so I'm going to try and try and keep a move on. Um, right, so let's just use this right here. We can see in the distance some absolutely ginormous mountains with some snow, and we think we're in the southern hemisphere, and those mountains are to our east. Now, the main mountain range in South America is the, is the Andes, which fall down the side here of Chile and Argentina. Uh, of course, if you, are, if you are in Argentina, these mountains are to the west, but in Chile, these mountains are to the east. So why don't we just take a bet that this is Chile and see if we're correct. Here, I'll go near, go near Santiago. Oh, and interestingly, it's lighted. It's it's highlighted there the entire country, so it, it doesn't matter where I put a pin. Obviously, uh, it's done that for me. Guess, yes. Look at that. First one down. New badge, and we were correct with Chile. Next round. Now this is the important one. Got to follow up. Got to follow up a win with another win. This is clearly in Europe. Toto. Jethro Tull, Nazareth, Eskimo. Are we in France? No. What does that say? That says Zur Hunderzone. So possibly in Germany. Oh. Uh, we're in the city center ish here, so we should be able to figure this out. Um, see any flags hanging up here? Of course, flags are extremely useful in this circumstance because you only need to figure out the country. Billa. Okay, we should be able to do this. Is that German? I, th I think it's German. That's where I'm, I'm erring on the side, but it could be could be, for example, you know, Polish or or something else. I'm not sure. I'm going down this way because it looks like, you know, the city center-ish is, is in this. Kunst mit still. Very good. I don't think we're in the Netherlands. Uh, it just doesn't quite look Dutch. It looks more, the language is more German, but of course it could be, could be Switzerland. Um, could be Austria. Schnitzel here, Austria. Um, so could be could be yeah Switzerland Germany Austria not not sold yet on exactly where we are so let's just try and uh, 
it's not the Netherlands because the Netherlands have yellow number plates but I'm not sold on it being Germany either Hofstrasse We need a country or a city marker. Anyone will do. What am I? That, that just tells you what language they speak inside the bank. So that's not too helpful. Let's carry on up this main road. Just see, see what we can see. Just something dot data. Uh, there we go. Dot at. Okay, excellent. That's all I need. That confirms here that we're in Austria, or at least that that van is from Austria. Uh, so glad I didn't go for Germany there. Excellent. Let's put the pin on Austria and make a guess. Excellent. Well, we've achieved the streak of two countries. Um, let's try and go for for one more, shall we? We can increase this one at a time. Um, Wow, what a complete change of scene. Look at this. To let. Goodness, look at this. Just crazy. Isn't it? It's amazing to think, uh, you know, that what we have in the West in terms of infrastructure and roads and so on and so forth, especially when you see on, on these places, you know, uh, what they what they sometimes go without. St. Matthew's Women Training Center, Catholic Church, School of Catering, Fashion Designing and Crafts. OK, so in a Christian nation here, there's only a few in Africa. I think we're in Africa. There's only a few. Um, Places which are mapped, you know, you're looking at Ghana, Nigeria, um, and I think Senegal um, is, is is well mapped. So you know that that helps. I feel like we're in West Africa here. So it's a question for me then of of, of you know where uh, out of those three countries really. Um, what do we have here? Look at this. God, look at the amount of trash that's there. That's just crazy. This is a crazy poor area, that's for sure. Just awful, actually, to see the amount of rubbish there. Just awful. Oh, dear. Let's try and go this way. I saw a sign there for Nokia, but it didn't, didn't give away much. Uh, we've got some tuk-tuks. What does this sign here say? Glory again. So this is clearly quite a Christian, Christian area. No, not sure about that. What does this say? Does this say anything here? Youth empowerment. Oh, that's who it's been donated by. What are these flags? This should do. We're at a, some kind of a checkpoint here. Now I think the green, the green, white, green flag there, oh, pardon me, is Nigerian, I think. So that's what I'm gonna go for. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty sure about that. Barring anything unforeseen, let's go for Nigeria, shall we? Oh, I would love to get this right, just to just to get a three-country streak. Um, let's just carry on down here and see if we can't see something for a second. But I'm I'm pretty confident in the flag there, green, white, green. Didn't see if they were horizontal or vertical, actually, but uh, you know I think we I think we're close. Roundabout here should confirm if there is a sign for anything. 
APG, APC. What do these vans say? Nope. Okay, I'm going to give myself 10 more seconds and then I will make a guess in Nigeria. There's no clues really on any of these vehicles, you know? Um, I don't know if they have yellow yellow cabs in, in Nigeria or not. Not sure about that. Um, HAL Hospital. Is HAL an area? Are we in Lagos? Not sure. I'd be interested to know where we are in, in terms of the town here, but we're not going to find that out actually when we make our guess. Either it's the wrong country or the right country, but it won't tell us where, will it? Um, okay, look, I can't see anything else. I'm going to go with Nigeria, uh, take a guess, and, and see if we're right there. And I'm basing it entirely on the flag that I saw before. So let's let's go for it. Yes, correct. Nigeria, continue. Hot streak. Next round. Well, we're doing better than two, so that's good. Um, and here, look, we've got some signs, so that should that should really help. Kath Hospital, Sunyani, and Obusai. I don't recognize those names. But it, it does look similar, doesn't it? It does look similar to... Um, to, to, to Nigeria where we were before but I mean a bit I mean this this area looks you know more developed obviously what do these ambulances say because this is the Nyame BA Nyame BA hmm not sure what that means let's continue um, up to the roundabout what is that? Are those the Ghanaian colors? I think they might be. Um, not sure, but I'm, I'm... Let's see what we can see here at this roundabout. Shea butter. Some of it's in English. It doesn't... The more I travel here, the, the less I feel like it's like Nigeria where we were before exactly. Global access, shea butter. Silvercrest supermarket. I mean, there's so many signs here. We really should be able to see. We really should be able to see things. The golden tulip. I, I think I'm going to go with Ghana in a second. If uh, we can't see anything else. No, that's the way I came. Let's go down here. This is the only way I can go. And look, I mean, there's so many signs here. We should be able to, to get this. That's called GYAF. So that's maybe Ghana. G for Ghana. Do we see an address there? I really don't, unfortunately. GCB, again, Bantama branch. So that's the name of the town. That's where we are. Is that right? Is that worth just a quick look? Bantama branch. Let's get in there. So we see here Accra, Kumasi. Karate. I don't want to zoom in too far and spend too long on this, but I don't see it. I don't see it.
I don't see Bantama here, so let's check out Senegal um, whilst we're at it, just just for a minute, and then we'll make a guess. Possibly we're in Senegal. There's the Gambia, which uh, those of you who watched my Name All the Countries in Africa Challenge video will remember that was one of the last remaining countries on the list. Again, I can't see... What is it again? Ban... Bantama. Okay. I can't see it, but I'm, I'm feeling like it might be... Let's just check out Dakar quickly and see if it's not in there. Is Bantama a part of, of Dakar? Hmm. I'm getting more and more lost here. No, I don't see it there. I'm not I'm going to go back to to, to, to uh, Ghana just because I see now actually pressing the Pressing the, the country reveals the flag, which I was trying to remember from before. Ghana and Senegal have got two very similar flags. But I think, and I'm, I'm going to struggle to remember this now, I think the one earlier was of the Senegal type. So I'm going to go with Senegal or Ghana. Senegal. Let's go with it. Guess. Oh, no. Wrong. Okay, folks. Well, that's enough for today. My guess was Senegal. The correct answer was Ghana. We were nearly there. And uh, for future reference, we were here in Kumasi. So, very good. Let's view the summary. I really like this new uh, this new feature on, on GeoGuessr. At least it's new for me. We can see here my streak ended at three countries. Chile, Austria, Nigeria. And we were wrong with Ghana. But that's fantastic. I'm still very happy with that. Three in a row now and something to build on. So look forward to releasing future videos uh, of this uh, nature in the future uh, going forwards. If anything, I'll try and create a playlist to, uh, to, to lump them all together and we can see how high we can get. Okay, well, thank you very much for, what, for playing with me today and I'll see you in the next video.